Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. This time I wanted to do like a pinkish, like yeah, a pinkish look. Um, the reason I wanted to do that is because I've been doing a lot of blue and I'm trying to stay away from blue, but like blue is calling my name and I think the next look I might do is blue, but I don't know, like I'm trying to stay away from blue because I already have some blue looks on my channel. So let's go with pink this time. The three palettes that I used, you already know, the Morphe palette, 3502, Second Nature Palette is the palette that I will always be using in my videos. Hopefully that focuses it. Alright, the second palette that I will be using is the Lick and Lash Beauty Palette 35E. Again, like I said before, this is basically just a duplicate of the um, of the Morphe Palette 35B that they discontinued. And then lastly, I have the Take Me Back to Brazil Palette from BH Cosmetics. So I use a few colors from each palette. That's why I said we'll be using all three of these beautiful beautiful babies so if you guys are interested in knowing how i did this look keep on watching all right you guys so by now you should know the drill i'm going in with my maybelline concealer in shade 25 medium and i'm going to um, prime my eyelids using the real techniques beauty blender i'm going to blend it all out Next, I'm going to go into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. Using a Morphe brush, I'm going into those two colors of yellow, mixing it together on the brush, and applying it on the upper part of my eyelid. Um, we're going to be like stacking on colors, so I'm going to apply as much as yellow as I can before I start applying the next colors. Now I'm going into the Morphe palette, the Second Nature, 3502 Second Nature palette that they have. I'm going into the color which is called um, Spice. And we're using an Avon brush, like I said, that I found from my mom's stuff, old makeup brushes that she never used, keep in mind. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out near the yellow. Um, next color I'm going into is, what color is this? Brick, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's Brick. With the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply it underneath the brown. We're just gonna start blending and mixing these colors together. So y'all already know 95% of my makeup looks is going to be a cut crease. I'm using the same concealer that we did to prime our eyes to create the cut crease with the Morphe brush M167. I'm going into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette using a flat brush from Morphe in that really light shade of pink and into the Lick and Lash Beauty palette and that shade of pink, mixing them both together on the, um, oh my god, I can't even talk. Mixing them both together on the brush and then applying it on my eyelid. We're going to be applying three different shades of pink, so make sure to leave room for the other two. And going back into that same palette, the last pink on that first row, I'm going to apply it right next to the first pink that we put on our um, eyelid. I'm trying to create like that gradient effect that you see on like the color charts whenever you see different colors. Um, so yeah. And lastly, I'm going into the darker shade of pink that they have on the palette and I'm applying it on the outer corner of my eyelid. So I'm going back into the color Spice just because I felt like some of that color was lost when I put the pink on there. And I'm just like lightly fluffing that color around the edge of my eyelid. I'm going into the color Brick with a flat, small Morphe brush and I'm applying underneath my um, waterline, eyeline, eyelash line, whatever it's called. Um, and then I'm going into the color Chestnut and put it in the same area just to um, even out the look. Make sure to blend it as much as you can. Okay, mi gente, and then for the last shade, I'm going into that dark pink that we used before, and I'm applying it underneath my waterline in the same area. Oh shoot, actually that is not the last shade. I'm going back into the color yellow, amarillo. 
for the people who are bilingual on my channel. El color amarillo lo voy a aplicar por debajo del lash line. I'm applying it on the same part, like the bottom part of my eyelash, eyelash line, whatever the hell it's called, as you guys can see. And to put some mascara on, I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara for my fake beautiful eyelashes that I love so much. It's from the company Audrina Gloco in style Moonlight. This gave me like a fresh, light um, eye look, if that makes sense. Like I didn't want it to be so dramatic. It was light enough, but dramatic at the same time, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. Going back into the Lick and Lash Beauty palette, into that pink, that like silver color and pink mixing them both together in the really really small brush and i'm applying it in the inner corner of my eye to give me that pop the bedazzle that shine that my eye needed thank you so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it all the products that i mentioned in the video will be listed down below in the description box also my social media accounts my two instagrams one i have specifically for makeup in Dalesia, and the other one that i have specifically just for my personal one which is also in Dalesia underscore i'll put the names on the screen so don't worry if you don't know how to spell it in is my name just by the way um, so yeah, again, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. I also have a little playlist right here so you guys can click on it to see other makeup tutorials that I have on my channel. Again, I can't say more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.